This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Hey, stick around to the end of this video to hear a special offer from today's sponsor, Human Super Beat Heart Chews. Learn how to get a free 30-day supply and 15% off your first order by going to GetSuperBeats.com and using promo code Dollamore. Now I'm going to take these off the desk. <laughs> and let's talk about what today's topic is. Let's ask a question. Let's ask a rhetorical question about what it must be like for Republicans to put forward a candidate that is so unlikable, that is so bereft of accomplishment that you have to constantly be painting him as a victim and uh, doing the hard work for him of making him likable. Because that is what we got with Donald Trump. That is what the Republicans, this is their, 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 their last great hope at the presidency. Because as I see it, the party is dying. At the very least, it's diminishing in power and influence. And yesterday's interview with Greg Kelly from Newsmax, the Nepo baby, former police commissioner of New York City's son, Ray Kelly. And I've got three clips to play for you here. Brief clips that really illustrate what I'm talking about. The first is Donald Trump given the chance to say that he's a fallible character, that, yeah, I'm like anybody else, I, I, I make mistakes. And Greg Kelly, he puts forward the question as though, look, nobody gets it right all the time, blah, 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 blah. What would you have done different or whatever? And Donald Trump invariably, un, unshockingly, it's not a surprise that he says, oh, no, no. I did everything right. I got everything right. I made no mistakes. In fact, what happened was there were a lot of dumb people around me, people he placed there, who made mistakes and that I had to clean up because I'm so great and so smart and so, so perfect. Uh, it's ridiculous. And then there's two other clips that are going to just fly in the face of this particular statement made by Trump. Let's start with this one, though. In 2016, you did the opposite of what the political professionals would recommend, almost every turn, and you won. And that's amazing. That's a testament to you. But is there such a thing as overconfidence? I mean, you've been right a lot, but nobody's right all the time. Is there such a thing as overconfidence? Are you, at this point, tough to advise? Or, I know you got great advisors, but have you, did you learn some negative lessons by being right when they were wrong? And you might think, well, I'm always right. They must always be wrong. Well, they do have a hat on, and I don't produce it. Somebody else, Trump was right about everything. I mean, if you look at all of these many, many things, I've been right about everything. I've been right about immigration. I've but been the little right. things, tactics yeah. and things like that. But, uh, look, uh, I listen to a lot of very smart people. I listen to people that aren't so smart, and you find out they're not smart later on. Look, I've had people that are great working for me, but I've also had people where it was a mistake having them. <laughs> he did everything right. He did everything right. He made no mistakes. Every decision was just ah, chef's kiss, as far as Donald Trump is concerned. No matter the fact that there are more than a million dead Americans, the life expectancy of, of, of adults generally in the country has plummeted because of his inaction and fecklessness related to COVID. Not even to mention a host of other issues that he, he, he handled ridiculously. So, being the guy who gets everything right, it is amazing that when he's asked about uh, the, the, the myriad problems that he's facing right now, he talks about Hillary Clinton, of course, and gets it wrong. In a, an historic embarrassment during an interview, Donald Trump asserts that Hillary Clinton, remember, remember the whole controversy about the the smashing phones or servers with hammers and deleting their contents where you've heard the term acid washed. <laughs> well, apparently, <laughs> apparently Donald Trump believes they it's like an episode of Breaking Bad where they're dissolving a body in, in acid in the tub. Donald Trump believes they actually employed liquid, literal acid on those phones and on those servers. So here's the guy who never gets anything wrong, getting it pretty wrong. It was egregious what he did. But by the way, they released Hillary Clinton. She hammered her phones. 
She used uh, all sorts of acid testing and everything else. They call it uh, bleach bit, but it's essentially acid that will destroy everything, <laughs> you know, within 10 miles. I mean, she, what she did was unbelievable. Nothing happens to her. Nothing happens to Bill Clinton. He took it out in his socks. You know, it was the famous socks case, which he actually ended up winning. So when I look at this, Greg, I say there's got to be something. You know, it was very interesting when they were going after me viciously, raiding my house, everything else, because Jack Smith is an animal. He's a total animal. He's a he's deranged in my he really is. He's a deranged person. <laughs> Donald Trump is an absolute demented goblin who sus sustains himself on lies. Well, sustains himself on lies and Big Mac sauce. This is ridiculous for a guy who's talked about, first of all, bleach bit is a software. It's a piece of software to help you clean the data off of your drives. It's not literal, literal acid that will destroy everything within 10 miles, like it's an erupting volcano, like it's lava, molten magma rolling down the hills. It's software. Guy who gets it right and has gotten it right, and will continue to get it right. You see the lengths to which conservative media will go to rehab Donald Trump, to try to paint him as a sympathetic character, as an effective leader? They do their best, and Donald Trump just lays waste to their attempts. Uh, this next one really is, it, it, it dives right into that particular narrative, that they're trying their best to make him a sympathetic character. And you'll remember last week, I think, I played a clip of a Fox News lady. I'll remind you of the clip after this clip because it really drives home the funny here of Donald Trump, the lady who said, uh, what I like about Donald Trump is he never plays the victim. <laughs> well, Greg Kelly here wants to really humanize Donald Trump. And he, he asked this question about, do you ever... Do you ever get lonely, Trump? Do you ever get lonely, Mr. President? It must be really hard to stand high atop a mountain as a great leader of the United States. Oh, alone in your magnificence. Does it ever get lonely? <laughs> and Donald Trump's answer really is just the, the greatest hits of aggrievement. It's the, the greatest hits of, oh, poor me. Watch this, and then I'll remind you what Republicans actually think about Donald Trump and his uh, not playing the victim. No one's gone through what you've gone through. Nobody in human history has really, and I know you have supporters, uh, friends, family. They say it's lonely at the top. And I'm actually curious, is it ever lonely for you? I mean, no one can fully relate to what you've been through and what you're going through. Are you ever lonely? So I was, over the years, I love history, I study history. And I was always told that Andrew Jackson, as a president, was treated the absolute worst. He was just really lambasted. And I heard Abraham Lincoln was second, but he was in a thing called the Civil War, so you can understand that. But Andrew Jackson was really, really treated badly. In fact, his wife died during the process. I mean, a lot of people say she died because of the way they were treated. I mean, she was heartbroken and, and broken in so many other ways. And... I heard that for years, and I look now, even last night I was saying it, I said, there's no, I don't care, Andrew Jackson or anybody else, nobody has, when you think of the, the fake things, nobody's been treated like Trump in terms of badly. Russia, 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 Ukraine, 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 everything was a scam, and it literally starts the new one. As you win one, you start the other. Impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, all hoaxes and scams. And I said, if they ever devoted their time to making America great again, it would be a lot easier. Some people say, sir, how do you get out of bed in the morning? Of course, he compares himself to the likes of Abraham Lincoln, of course. But it is hilarious that there are there is a faction of people out there, a large, a, a not insubstantial faction of people out there who do believe Donald Trump doesn't ever play the victim. He's a strong and mighty alpha male. Remember this from last week, the dipshit on Fox News. What I love about him, he never plays the victim. He was like, keep weaponizing me. I just keep winning. Never plays the victim. <laughs> never plays the victim. Ah, it's just too good. 
Donald Trump is withering before our eyes. He's confused. He has little understanding of something, the, 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 the bleach thing, the acid thing that he's talked about maybe thousands, maybe tens of thousands of times. Those words have, uh, have, have, have crossed his lips, uh, maligning Hillary Clinton for her destroying of servers or whatever, verging on conspiracy theory nonsense that they're constantly spouting. You would think of all people who would be an expert on what took place, it would be Donald Trump. Instead, he thinks a river of acid flowed from some office in Washington, D.C. The loneliest man in the world, the most effective man in the world who never gets anything wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you think? I invite you to this conversation. We can have a comment. We can have a, a comment off. That's not what I was going to say, but we can we can uh, mix it up in the comments and have a conversation there. We can disagree agreeably. I know we can. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can support this work by becoming a channel member for two bucks a month. Click the, 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 the join button below this video on YouTube. You can go over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I'm on social media at Dollamore, good times had by all or by few. And uh, stick around, huh? For a word from today's sponsor, Humans Super Beat Heart Chews. It's at this point in the new year where our resolutions often came to more of good conclusions. Dry January actually ended up being more damp than anything other. And the folks at the gym we signed up for have only seen us, what, one, one, once or twice? And of course, we all just flat out didn't make it beyond the first paragraph of that memoir of ours that we'd been wanting to write, right? But don't beat yourself up. The biggest problem with resolutions, they are just unrealistic oftentimes. Why not set a more straightforward and attainable goal? My goal is simple this year, get heart healthy. Since beating colon cancer in 2022, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, I have continued to seek out ways to further improve my overall health. For 2024, I have been taking Super Beat Heart Chews, and they are a delicious and easy way to support my blood pressure and stimulate heart-healthy energy. Paired with a healthy lifestyle, which is another thing I'm trying to do, the antioxidants in Super Beats are clinically shown to be nearly two times more effective at promoting normal blood pressure than a healthy lifestyle alone. Double your potential with Super Beats. Get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats heart shoes and 15% off of your first order by going to GetSuperBeats.com and using promo code DOLLAMORE. Trusted by collegiate athletes and pro sports teams, Humans Super Beats are the number one doctor, pharmacist, and cardiologist recommended beat brand for cardiovascular health support. They're an easy, plant-based, and stimulant-free way to help you realize your potential. I take two in the morning to bolster my energy for a day full of studio work, but take them whenever you like, with, with or without food, and see how great they make you feel. Simplify healthy living with Super Beats. Get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats heart shoes and 15% off of your first order by going to GetSuperBeats.com and using promo code DOLLAMORE. That's GetSuperBeats, B-E-E-T-S.com and use that code DOLLAMORE. Pump up your potential with Super Beats heart shoes.